Hello guys, this is Wiltech Gaming here, and um, for the most part, I'm pretty hyped. I'm hyped about tomorrow, or what? You guys are probably going to see this video on the on the 8th, but I am actually recording this on the 7th here, and I'm hyped about tomorrow. Tomorrow is when the, um, the Tau beta starts, which is going to be pretty nice, so it'll be nice to take out the uh, Tau shifts and see how they play out. I don't know too. I know a lot about the Tau Empire lore and whatnot, so the history. But I don't know how those ships work for the most part. I know that they're separated between civilian and military ships, but I'm not entirely sure on what favors to expect or what combat to expect. More. So I'm pretty. I'm pretty hyped. Can't wait to uh, try them out. And see how they. Uh, how they work out. For the most part, um, I hear that they might have something akin to like guided missiles or something, or something along those lines. So it should be, should be interesting. Should be interesting. I can't wait. Um, you know, I have a 7 a.m. class or so, which sucks. But after I get home, so I definitely can't wait to try them out and see how they, how they play out. Should be very interesting. Anyway, yeah, this, I, I, I literally, I feel like I'm going to win this guy's day. I need to, uh, need to make a video on my opinions or so on link mode over persistent mode. So it's supposed to be two very different modes and they have very different yes, come on. play styles or so. And for the most part, I do prefer... Oh, persistent over linked. At your service. And I'll probably go into more detail on my reasons probably in a later video. Alright, so it seems that he is going to hide in that cloud there. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pop in a million and one. Um, what? Disruption bombs or so, and then watch the mouse door and just tear his ships apart. At your Fun. As you wish. Until the end. What does he have here? Looks like he has uh, about four cruisers. I don't worry about Nova cannons, which is nice. Yes, Commander, we obey. I see they still that glitch though. The void is our home now. I they still that glitch. Stealth is the key to success. Yes, Commander. We ride the solar winds. Oh damn. Swiftly! Move at full speed. The Eldar stand ready. As you wish. We ride the solar winds. Acknowledged. You need to get positions on the enemy. Moving to that location. God, he's a guy who likes to use the space bar. Returning infinity circuit to rest. At your service. The void is our home now. Yes, come on. Alright, he is on the move. Acknowledged. Primary target on the generators. At 
Your service. Yes, Commander, we obey. Move at full speed. The Eldar stand ready. Moving to that location. Your service. Oh, for yes, God's sake. We obey. Returning Infinity Circuit to rest. He'll dodge this one. Acknowledged. Until the end. Oh, please just sit in the mouse join. Capulated. Okay, cool. Cool beans. Oh, that was fun. That was kind of sad and pathetic. Uh, but. Even I don't have a... Actually, no, I would have a counter towards this strategy. My strategy would just consist of having Widowmakers, uh... want to dominate a class and whatnot. So, yeah. I don't know. Maybe he doesn't have the money for that. Let's see here. So... I'm getting pretty much the same upgrades for these. So I'm not going to really divvy it up, just so I know. So I always know, like, what... What I'm getting into without having to glance into the stats too heavily as so. That's why I have most of my ships the same. Like for the most part, I can naturally assume that any of my, these ships down the hill, they will all have the efficient pilots and yeah, a greater detection range. And then the higher level ones will just be better at what I, I plan them to do. They'll be faster have uh, better silent run orders or so, and have this ability that I've yet to use really, just because I don't really use the, um, I don't really use the Stellar Cannons that much, unless of course it's versus the other one, but now that I think about it, um, accuracy is better than reload, so I might probably change it to something else, I don't know. Actually, that could come in handy. Yeah, let's go with that. Just allows for us to um, use the wave weight bone shift a little faster, which is nice, as that just allows us to be much more uh, mobile. Hmm. I do this for a second. Oh. Well, I don't know. It doesn't seem that big of a deal. Hmm. That would be interesting. But then again, that gets negated by... Yeah, just uh, basically... I, I don't want to be that close, so if I'm firing that close, it's not going to end well. Like, all I see, actually, I see this being effective, but only... <sighs> actually, I really don't see any effect for uh, the silent running void bleeding, or so. When I think about it, just because of... You know, if anything, I think I should just have an increased range in stall cannons. Just because, you see, these are anti... You know, let me just cancel this, yeah. Yeah, simply just because of the fact that these aren't really made as stealth ships for the most part. 
you know, for the most part, designed to, uh, makes me even question this here. Yeah, let's just get rid of that and instead increase the, that would actually be kind of useful. I don't really see speed as being that important either. I'm justifying this to myself because of the fact that I just want to add on the piercing as well. Though it's useless against the Eldar, it would be very effective against what other other races basically. Though if I ever get that close to so I'm pretty much a dead man anyway. So I'm not even gonna bother. Alright, let's see if we can get into another match for this video, y'all. Yeah. Just crossing my fingers. What else? What else? Um, there, finally, okay, we got into another match. So we increase the um, the range and accuracy of our our star cannons, basically. So that should be very admirable. Doomsday. Oh wait. Um. Let's take you out, and we'll have you guys support. Let's test out this tactic here, because the I specialized my shadows or so to be more of a um, more of a good support for you to so. But the thing about it is that they're lacking firepower themselves; they mostly rely on. The fighters to do most of the damage. Well, I've specialized my Void Stalker and subsequent Eclipse class cruisers to be more of a direct confrontation ship to sell with the pulsars. I don't really like to use them that much anymore. And that's uh yeah, that's mostly just because of the fact that they They just don't have the range they had before, so for the most part. Like I still, I still win almost all my battles while playing as the Eldar, so I just feel that that supremacy has been lost to some extent or form. I'm kind of sad about that, but I realized that it was for balance reasons, so I'm kind of just over that for the most part. The Eldar stand ready. So it looks like he's um. Like quite the fleet against the us. Is our home now. That's a the void is our home. You know what now. I'd never do? I'd never use the lock on features, yeah. Uh, Cause that really yeah, it doesn't Oh, okay, so it does to only stand weapons and pulls off. so it does yes, commander does work I need to pay attention acknowledge move at full speed the elder stand ready we have found the enemy swiftly Ready. The void is our home now. 
Own ship. Yes, Commander, we obey. Setting sail. Setting sail. Move at full speed. Move at full speed. Swiftly. to that location. The Eldar stand ready. As you wish. Move at full speed. Swiftly. We ride the solar winds. This guy really wants to kill me. Setting sail. Acknowledged. Move at full speed. The void is our home now. I know we've been spotted. That's not a good game. That's not a good game at all. You had no, really no chance. This is why I don't do good games. Either I lose horribly or they lose horribly. Honestly, if it's somewhere in the middle, I, I wouldn't mind it if someone said a good game in a close match if I'm not too bitter about the fact that I lost a very close match. I wouldn't mind saying GG if I, if I lost, basically. But in the cases like these, I'm just like, no, that was not a good game. I, I completely react your entire fleet and you are helpless to do anything about it so but that's just me anyway i hope you guys enjoyed the match and i will catch you guys next time